ahead. Okay. So, so this is the building we're in now. Um, this is the crown module we were just standing at. And then this is this wall behind us. And so we don't have room in the building for the full accelerator. So right now we're standing uh, 20 feet below ground. This building is sunk below ground. So outside we built an underground tunnel expansion um, that's the same length of the building. So our accelerator will be twice the length of the building that we're standing in now. It's the same size as the cave we were just in. So we'll extend that cave right up to the wall and then the new construction will continue. So we just have one continuous tunnel twice the length of this. And then we can put in up to six cryo modules. So this is the end of the sixth one. And then at the end we have multiple beam lines where we can do R&D on future accelerator components. Now because we have a bigger accelerator, we need more cryogenic capacity. So with the stimulus funds we're also buying a cryogenic refrigerator, helium refrigerator. And so that goes in this new building, um, these two buildings here. Uh, the refrigerator's here and then all the compressors and everything for it are, are here. Um, and so that'll feed into the tunnel and cool down the crown modules. So we get our superconducting capability. Now because we'll have this huge cryogenic capacity, in this building we also built additional test tanks where we can test individual crown modules as they're produced. No beam, we would just cool them down, power test them, make sure they're good, move them out, bring in the next ones. So if you look over at this picture, this is what it looks like. Um, this is the building we're in now. The shaded area is the underground and electrical building. The two new buildings for the uh, cryo plant. So this construction project is nearly done. Um, it's, it started in March, it'll be done in a, by the end of the year. And then this one just began and it'll take about a year to build.